88, and I went on to the University of Pittsburgh, where I majored in business and minored in music. And uh, for the last seven years now, I've been kind of developing my skills and work and become like a professional artist and entertainer. And some of the skills that I've been trying to develop in time is being a singer, a songwriter, a rapper, a producer, a choreographer, an entrepreneur, and last but not least, a mentor, which is mentoring these kids and you know, showing me things that I've learned in my life in my years in high school and middle school and you know, on college. And I learned to try to share some of my lessons that I've learned. And uh, I'm going to break a lot of those uh, names down and those different career choices. But it kind of leads me to talk about the three subjects, I guess you want to say, that I want to talk about. The first one is finding your talents. As I just named some of my talents, what are some of your talents that you guys have as kids? Um, everyone has a talent of some nature. We're all born with certain gifts and abilities that we can do, and we can use to uh, better our lives and to be happy and have fun. And sometimes, it takes a lot to find out what your talent is and what you're going to grow up to become. Maybe you'll be a professional athlete, you know, you're playing basketball now, you're working, you're practicing, and eventually, you know, that'll lead you to college and to a very successful career. Maybe your your talent is that you're very smart and you're very business oriented and very mind conscious, so you might be a doctor, you might do really well in school, and just stay cool and, you know, help others. So there's a lot of different talents that we all have. And at the ages that you are now is a good time to really focus and try to look at the talents that you have and what you're doing in, in practice. I guess that's the best thing to do is to lead me into my next talk, which is the three Ds that I like to live my life by, which is discipline, dedication, and determination. Those are the three words that I live and I approach my the talents that I have to better myself, to stay focused on them, and not to lose sight, you know, when all the distractions in the world, and maybe, you know, there's so many things that go on in your life, like summertime is coming, you're going to have a lot of fun, and different things, and, you know, it might, there's just a lot of things out there that could really distract you from your talent that you're really good at, that you should really focus on, and it should make you happy to do that talent. You want to be the best at it as you can, so you want to continue to practice. So as being a, a singer, you know, what I continue to do is I take voice lessons and I have a voice coach that works with me on my breathing techniques and how to develop my sound and stay on pitch and continue you know, working. I have a lesson this Saturday with Beth Ross and she's in how to work. And I met her through when I was in college taking some music lessons and um, a couple other classmates was, you know, already taking voice lessons with her. I was like, well, I'd like to take lessons. I'd like to better my voice. So I've been with her for the last six or seven years. And then the next songwriting, you know, everyone in, in college, I took some uh, literary courses and uh, poetry. I wanted to write poetry. And I used to, I would do that in my spare time. I'd come back to my dorm room and I'd sit down and write some poems and things like that, and share them with my mom, share them with my dad. And uh, eventually, you know, those poems and that poetry turned into songs, you know, and then I got kind of involved in the music aspect and started to write songs. And from then, it just uh, continued on. And then the next also was being a rapper, which is similar to, you know, writing a song and of course being a singer, you're just writing your poetry, it's a spoken word, they call it sometimes. You know, you're just expressing your, your language and what you message you have, you know, in a rap and rhyming and timing and kind of putting the words together to make them sound pretty cool. And then the next is a producer, 